Hi, this is Mike. I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available. Yes. The security guard. I will take anything. Five Nights at Freddy's. Hey there, Five Nights at Freddy's fans. Are you ready to dive back into the haunted halls of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria? Well, grab your flashlights and hold on tight, because today we've got something special in store for you. From the spine-chilling new movie adaptation to cast surprises, release date mysteries, and even whispers of a sequel, we've uncovered some tantalizing tidbits that you won't want to miss. Whether you're a veteran security guard of the pizzeria or just stepping into this eerie world for the first time, there's something for everyone in today's video. Who's playing your favorite characters? What's lurking in the shadows of the movie's plot? And could there be more Freddy Fazbear frights on the way? But hey, I won't spoil the surprises here. You'll have to stick around to uncover the secrets. So hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's embark on this thrilling journey together. Ready to face the animatronics once more? Let's dive in. 1. Class As you know, Five Nights at Freddy's has become a global phenomenon with its mix of jump scares, unsettling animatronics, and intricate storytelling. The game series has kept us on the edge of our seats, and now, the cinematic adaptation promises to do the same. The latest buzz around the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is the official rating. Drumroll please, it's confirmed to be PG-13 for strong violent content, bloody images, and language. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. PG-13 for a Five Nights at Freddy's film? Is that enough to capture the terrifying nature of the game? But fear not. While this may spark some conversations among fans, a description suggests that the movie could be pushing the rating limits, particularly in terms of violence. Remember, great horror can absolutely be achieved with a PG-13 rating. Just look at the surprise hit from 2022, or the upcoming shark attack extravaganza, The Meg 2. The Trench The creators of Five Nights at Freddy's seem to be aiming for something similar, blending the premise and comedic tone to attract a young horror audience. And who knows? This rating might just be the magic formula that helps the Five Nights at Freddy's movie become a hit. So are you excited? Nervous? Either way, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. 2. Finally a date it's been a wild ride since Warner Bros. first announced a live-action adaptation of Five Nights at Freddy's way back in April 2015. From directorial changes to script redrafts, the road to the silver screen has been filled with twists and turns. First, it was Gil Kanan set to direct, then Christopher Columbus took the helm, only to lead the project in 2021. But things took an exciting turn when Emma Tammy was announced as the new director in October 2022, co-writing the script with Scott Cawthon and Seth Cutback. Talk about a roller coaster of talent, but now brace yourselves, dear fans, for the moment we've all been waiting for. The official release date for Five Nights at Freddy's is October 27, 2023. Mark your calendars and get ready to face the terror on the big screen. And for those of you in the United States who prefer the comfort of your own home, you'll be able to watch it on Peacock as well. That's right, Freddy and his fiendish friends are coming right to your living room. Thanks to Blumhouse Productions and producer Jason Blum, this once stuck in development help project has finally seen the light of day. The anticipation is building and the long wait seems to be paying off. 3. Terrifying Cast We all know and love the characters from the Five Nights at Freddy's games, and now we're finally going to see them portrayed on the big screen by an incredible ensemble of talented actors. Are you ready? First and foremost, me our protagonist, Mike Schmidt, played by none other than Josh Hutcherson. You may remember him from the Hunger Games franchise and Bridge to Terabithia. He'll be stepping into the shoes of the Brave Knight security guard, and we can't wait to see him take on Freddy and the gang. Alongside Josh, we'll have Piper Rubio playing Mike's younger sister, Abby. A new character adding depth to the story, and we're intrigued to see how this sibling duo will fare in the frightening Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Now get ready for chills, because Matthew Lillard is joining the Five Nights at Freddy's cast as the notorious villain William Afton. Fresh from roles like Stu Mocker and Scream, we know he's got what it takes to play the twisted creator of those animatronic mascots we all love to fear. But wait, there's more! Mary Stuart Masterson is on board as another mysterious villain. She'll be joined by Elizabeth Lale as Vanessa, Kat Connor Sterling as Max, Lucas Grant as Garrett, and Jessica Blackmore as Mike's mother. Talk about a star-studded cast! 4. Story Details Fans of the games get ready for a treat. The live-action adaptation stays true to the terror of the original games, with the security guard taking up the night shift at the abandoned Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. But as we all know, this is no ordinary pizza place. Once the clock strikes midnight, the seemingly innocent animatronic mascots turn into dangerous serial killers. As the new guard on duty, you've got to survive until dawn while uncovering the dark secrets of this twisted place. 
Stepping into this horrifying world, Josh Hutcherson plays our protagonist, Mike Schmidt. And as he discovers on his very first night, this job is anything but routine. But the movie brings a fresh twist. Meet Mike's younger sister, Abby, played by Piper Rubio, a brand new character for the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. What's her role in the pizzeria? Well, she's the target of Freddy Fazbear and his murderous crew, and Mike must do everything he can to protect her. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. The trailer teases that these animatronic horrors might be possessed by missing children. Talk about adding a supernatural chill to an already terrifying tale. The movie's creative liberties are already stirring up excitement and intrigue. What secrets will be uncovered? How will Mike and Abby fare against the terrifying animatronics? We'll just have to wait and see. 5. Sequel As of May 2023, there's been no official word on whether a sequel is in the works. But before you hang up your security guard hat in disappointment, let's dig a little deeper. The mastermind behind the Five Nights at Freddy's universe, Scott Cawthon, has hinted that he's got some ideas brewing for where a sequel could take us. Now that's intriguing. Could more animatronic nightmares be on the horizon? But wait, there's more. Matthew Lillard, who plays the notorious William Afton in the movie, revealed something quite exciting during a podcast with Weekly MTG. He mentioned signing a three-picture deal with Universal and Blumhouse in 2023. A three-picture deal, you say? That certainly raises the stakes and hints at a potential franchise in the making. Of course, the ultimate decision for a sequel will likely depend on how the movie performs and how it's received by fans. If it's a hit, who knows what new twists and terrors await in the world of Freddy Fazbear? Keep your eyes peeled for an official announcement, possibly just a couple of days after the movie's release. What a roller coaster ride through the animatronic world of Five Nights at Freddy's, right? From film adaptation teasers, cast revelations, to the buzzing rumors of a sequel, there's so much to get hyped about. I truly hope you enjoyed diving deep into these Five Nights at Freddy's mysteries with me. And if you did, don't keep a secret. Share this video with fellow Five Nights at Freddy's enthusiasts and let's keep the conversation going. If you haven't already, smash that like button to show some love and of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. We've got plenty more thrilling content, insights and updates coming your way. And hey, I want to hear from you. Which part of today's revelations got you most excited? Do you have theories of your own? Drop them down in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this animatronic adventure. Until next time, keep those doors locked, stay curious, and game on.